Come on, everybody. Let's go. Get ready for a summertime adventure from another summertime story. This is the story of The Sly Fox and the Chicks. Written and told by award-winning author Carl Summer. Once there was a very sly old fox who loved to eat chickens. On the farm, many animals thought the fox was friendly and kind. Secretly, the sly fox dreamed of catching little chicks and eating them. And he would have done so long ago if it had not been for Papa Rooster and a great big dog named Gruffy. Big Gruffy lived just outside the chicken pen, next to Papa Rooster, Mama Hen, Clucky, and Penny. Papa Rooster and Mama Hen taught Clucky, Penny, and the other chicks, stay away from the sly fox and never talk to strangers even if they are friendly. Clucky always said, I will never talk to strangers. What did Clucky say? Kenan? I will never talk to strangers. Yes, I will never talk to strangers. Now he's saying that. Now what do you think Papa and Mama is warning them not to talk to strangers? Why is he doing that? Why are they talking to them like that? Olivia? To keep them safe. Yes to keep them safe. You know what? I really would not like to write a book like this. I really wouldn't be uh, talking about strangers, but there are people out there that want to hurt children. And we, you know, we love children. I love children. And because of that, that's why I wrote this book, Sly Fox and the Chicks, to protect you, to be wise so if you're smart, Open up your ears and listen carefully to see what this sly fox does and how the chicks acted. One day, as the fox thought of how he might fool the chicks, he saw a lambskin hanging by the barn. Suddenly, his eyes lit up. Oh, good, he said to himself. I've got a great way to fool the chicks. I'll take this skin and put it on. Then the chicks will think I'm a little lamb. As the fox put on the lamb skin, he laughed and said, <laughs> This will be a perfect trick to get the little chicks. They will not be afraid of a little lamb. The fox went to look for the chicks. When the fox found the chicks, he said, I'll hide behind a bush until Papa Rooster and Mama Hen go inside the chicken pen. I can't wait to eat those chicks. When Papa Rooster and Mama Hen went into the chicken pen, the fox said, Oh, good. The big dog is sleeping. The sly fox went to the chicks and asked with a very sad voice, Excuse me, little chicks. Have you seen my little lost sister? Clucky did not say a word. He never talked to strangers. But his sister did. How is a sly fox talking? Miguel? With a really sweet voice. Very sweet voice. But inside, he wants to eat a chick. But outside, oh, he's so nice and kind and Strangers do that. But notice what Clucky did. What did Clucky do? Jocelyn? He turned away. Yes, and also what else? He always listened to his parents. Yes, he listened to his parents. And it comes down to one word, trust. He trusted his parents. His sister didn't. She became wiser than her parents. Now notice what's going to happen to his sister and notice what's going to happen to Clucky. We don't talk to strangers, said Penny. Oh, I'm not a stranger like the fox. I'm just a kind lamb trying to be your friend. 
Could you please help me find my little lost sister? No, yelled Penny. Then they all ran away. Oh, grumbled the fox. Now I need to think of another trick. The next day, the sly fox came by pulling a new wagon. Hey, little chicks, he said with a big smile. I found my sister. Would anyone like to ride in my new wagon? Clucky did not say a word. He never talked to strangers, but his sister did. We can't take rides with strangers, said Penny. Oh, I'm not a stranger, said the sly fox. I'm just a little lamb trying to be your friend. I'll give you this candy if you ride in my new wagon. No, shouted Penny. Then they all walked away. Notice the first time the stranger came, the fox came, they all ran away. Now what are they doing? Matthew. They're walking away. Yes. Now they're walking away. At first they run away. Now because the sly fox keeps on coming back, they get comfortable with him and they're talking to him. Remember they didn't talk at first? No, we're not allowed to talk. Now they're talking. They're getting comfortable. And that's what sly foxes do. Or strangers. But remember, the back of the mind of that stranger is they, he wants to hurt the chicks. And Clucky, he's always listening to his parents because he trusts them, but not Penny. Now we're going to see what happens next. He's not giving up this stranger. Let's see what he does now. The fox was mad, very mad. I must think of a better trick, he growled. He thought and thought. Then he clapped his hands and laughed. <laughs> I have a great idea on how to trick the chicks. The next day, when the sly fox saw Papa Roost and Mama Hen go shopping, he ran to the chicks. He showed the chicks his badge and said, I'm a cop. Your dad and mom have just been hurt in a very bad accident. Clucky did not say a word. He never talked to strangers, but his sister did. Penny began to cry. What happened to Papa and Mama, she asked. They are badly hurt in the hospital, lied the fox. Your dad and Mom said you should go with me to the hospital. Don't go with strangers, Clucky warned. It's okay to come with me, said the fox. I'm your friend, the cop. See my badge? As Penny thought about what she should do, Clucky was shaking his head, saying no. Then Penny said, we can't go with strangers. Then the chicks walked slowly away. Now the fox was very, very angry. There must be a better way to trick them, he growled. What does the sly fox want to do now? Yes, Noah. He's determined to get the chicks and eat them. He's determined. He's he really trying real hard. And he's he tries all kinds of tricks. Now he's, he was acting like a cop. That didn't work. Now he's thinking, what can I do? What can I do? And there's the wickedness of some people like that. It's unfortunately, you know, I wish I would never have to talk like this. But for your sake and for all the children watching this video, you children out there, listen to your parents. Now notice the, the parents warned them about this kind of person, but they didn't listen. But you listen, and you too, you kids. Learn to trust your parents. You're, that's the smartest thing you can do. <laughs> the wicked fox said to himself, Now I've got the perfect trick. The next day he came again. Hey, little chicks, he said with a very sweet voice. Do you like corn? Did they like corn? Corn was their favorite food. They liked it better than candy. We love corn, exclaimed Penny. Shh, whispered the fox. Now don't tell anyone, but I know a secret place where there's plenty of the most delicious corn you have ever tasted. Then the fox reached into a bag. Here, taste this. He gave the chick some corn. Mmm, mmm 
said Penny, rubbing her tummy. That's the best corn I've ever tasted. It really is the best corn, said the other two chicks. It's delicious. Tasted, said Penny to Clucky. But Clucky would not even touch it. I'm obeying Papa and Mama, said Clucky. I don't eat food from strangers. Then Penny scolded Clucky. Don't be so foolish. Can't you see that he's not a stranger? Look at him. He's just a lamb. See how kind he is and how nice he talks? He just wants to be our friend. Now notice Clucky, how he acts, and notice how Penny is talking to Clucky. How is he talking to, the, to Clucky? All right, Claire? He's saying that you don't have to worry because he obviously seems nice. Yeah, you don't have to worry. Look at him. He's just a little lamb. And not only that, she's saying you're foolish for not listening to him. Look at this corn. is so delicious. It's the best corn we ever had. That was their favorite food. Don't be so foolish. But notice Clucky's answer. It doesn't matter if he's friendly or not, said Clucky. Papa and Mama don't know him, so I'm not going. Come with me, said the fox very sweetly, and I'll show you where you can eat all the corn you will ever want. Yippee, yelled Penny. Then I won't have to eat this old dry food anymore. Let's go right away, said one of the chicks. I want to eat that delicious corn. Then the fox gave Clucky a great big smile and said, Are you sure you don't want to come with us and eat the delicious corn? Clucky never said a word. Now Clucky really wanted to go and eat that delicious corn, but he trusted his dad and mom. They had warned him many times, never take food from strangers and never ever go with them. What is Penny trying to get Clucky to do? I, Claire? Go with him to get corn? Yes. Come on, go with him. Look, he's not a stranger. Look, he's got a lamb. He's just a lamb. He's a friendly lamb. He's not going to hurt us. Come with us. And she's trying to get him. And, and Clucky. He wants to go, too. He likes corn. They, it's their favorite food. But again, remember, Clucky, as much as he wants to go, he's trusting his parents. Let's see what happens now to these chicks. Clucky was very sad as he watched Penny and her two friends climb on some logs and jump over the fence. I just can't wait to eat more of that delicious corn, said one of the chicks. Me too, said Penny. We're so lucky to have such a kind friend. The fox, true to his word, led the chicks to the cornfield. Wow, cried Penny. Look at all that corn. It's everywhere. They began to eat and eat and eat. Mmm, mmm, said Penny. This is the best food I've ever eaten. It sure is, said another chick. Clucky sure was foolish for not coming with us. He's going to have to eat that old dried food. <laughs> they all laughed. Clucky is so foolish. What did the chicks say about Clucky? Yes, Juliet? He was foolish. He was foolish. They're laughing at him. They're happy here. That foolish clock. He's so foolish. And that's also what you call peer pressure. Everybody makes fun of you like they did before. Come on. He's friendly. Don't do. Come with us. Come on. Do this. Here. Come on. Smoke with us. Come on. Take a drink with us. Come on. Look at some things that your parents don't want you to do. And, and he's, he's getting all this pressure, but notice what he does. He always, Clucky always listens to his parents because he trusts them. 
They don't. They're smarter than their parents. Okay, mama and papa told me, but uh, he is just friendly. I know that I can try. I know he's such a nice person. This look at he's a lamb. He's he's giving us something to eat. He's trying to help us. He's trying to be our friend, and and he's so nice. He talks so nice and sweet. But the parents said, no, watch out, watch out. Never ever go with strangers. But they don't listen. And there are lots of boys and girls that do that. Lots of boys and girls. You see them on the highways. Some of them are drug addicts. Some are drunkards. And they were your age. They were smarter than their parents. They didn't have to listen to them. They got off with, with the wrong people. They started to smoke. They started to drink. They started to do things that the parents told them not to do. But they did it anyway. They were smarter. And today they're out in the streets begging. And some of them are ruined. And so he looks for, for and he wanted to go inside. Yeah, I want to eat that corn. I love that corn. But he's trusting his parents. And you'd be smart too if you do that. Now the fox was hungry, very hungry, and ready for supper. He called the chicks, come over here and I'll show you where to find the best corn. All the chicks started to come. No, no, said the fox very sweetly, just one at a time. I'll let everyone have a chance to eat the best corn. I'll go, yelled one of the chicks as it ran to the fox. The fox took the chick deep into the cornfield. Then the fox said very kindly, Here's the place. Now you can eat all the corn you want. Thank you, Mr. Lamb, said the chick as it bent down to taste the corn. Thank you for being such a kind friend. All at once, the fox jumped on the chick and ate it with one bite. The fox came back to where the other two chicks were eating. Isn't this yummy food, asked the smiling fox as he licked his lips. Oh, yes, Penny said, never even looking up. Thank you for being such a good friend and showing us this delicious corn. Who wants to be next? asked the fox. I do, I do, shouted Penny. As Penny quickly went to the fox, suddenly she stopped. She saw a white chicken feather by the fox's mouth. Penny got scared. Where's my friend? she asked. The fox opened his mouth wide and showed his big teeth. Down here, he shouted. You're not a nice lamb, Penny screamed. You're a wicked fox. Yes, I am, growled the fox, and I'm going to eat both of you. The chicks screamed and ran as fast as they could, but it was too late for one of them. The wicked fox quickly gobbled down the chick, but the fox was still very hungry. Then he ran as fast as he could to get the other chick. You can't get away from me, shouted the fox. You might as well give up. The chick screamed, help, help, and ran as fast as it could. The farm animals heard the chick screaming. Closer and closer came the wicked fox. Then the speedy fox lowered his head and opened his jaws wide. Why do I have the fox eating the chick? To show on? To show how mean strangers are. Yes. Some of these strangers are really, really dangerous and mean. They really hurt you. Oh, I could have had the chick run away or something like that. But unfortunately, there are people like that in this world. And that's why you got to be careful on the internet and who you talk to. And that that's where a lot of one of their favorite tricks now today is on the internet, with the computer, on your smartphone. They, they try to go through you and, and, and you listen to them, they get on the voice, they, and they show pictures of themselves, and it's not them. And some young person, and it could be a person that's 40, 50 years old, and you think you're talking to someone your age. They're, they're tricky. And he's always talking so sweet, who's next? Who, oh, I do, I do, I do. And all he wants to do is eat them. And that's how sly foxes are. You can't go by their voice or their actions. Now notice all this could have been avoided with just one simple thing to do. Listen to your parents.
Just as he was about to gobble up the chick, he heard a terrible growl. <laughs> what? Where? Who is that? asked the scared fox. It was Gruffy. The fox put out his feet, but he could not stop. He skidded right into Gruffy and hit his nose. Hello there, my friend, said the scared fox. Gruffy never said a word. He ate my friends, cried the chick. <laughs> growled Gruffy. The fox knew he was in deep trouble. Did you see me eat them, asked the quick-thinking fox. No, I didn't see you eat them, said the chick, but I know you did. There you have it, said the fox to Gruffy. You know, kids, they just make up stories. Gruffy looked at the chick, and then he looked at the fox. The fox began to shake all over. You must not believe the chick, the fox said, as anyone on the farm. All the animals know I'm a kind fox. I was just playing tag. Then Gruffy saw a small feather by the fox's mouth. He knew who was lying, and it was not the chick. Gruffy grabbed the wicked fox and said, Don't you ever come back here again. Gruffy tossed the fox far away. Then Gruffy and the chick began to go home. What kind of person is the fox here? You find it over and over again. Yes, Andrew? A liar. He's a liar. He's constantly telling lies. Oh, no. I'm just playing tag. He's tracing after the chick, and he meets the dog, and... Hey, what are you doing? I'm, I'm just playing tag. We're just having fun. And that, they're just liars. And your parents are not going to lie to you. They love you. They're telling you the truth. All right, now we find that Gruffy sees the feather in the fox's mouth. And now he knows that the chick is telling the truth. Papa Rooster, Mama Hen, and Clucky were waiting for Penny to come home. Then Mama Hen yelled, Look, there comes Gruffy and a chick. The chick looks scared and very sad. I hope everything is okay. When the chick came, she cried and said, The wicked fox tricked us and ate two of my friends. Then they all cried together for a long, long time. What was everyone doing here now? Matthew? They're all crying. They're all crying. They're weeping. Papa, Mama, the chicks, the dog, they're all crying. And you know how much your parents love you when, if something would happen to you? You know how many tears they would shed? They love you. There's no one that loves you more than your parents. Learn to listen to them. Again, I want to remind you that all this sadness would have been avoided with just one simple thing if they would have trusted their parents. But they didn't. And all this happened. And so you learn to trust your parents. You'll avoid many problems, problems in life if you just trust your parents. Then Papa wiped his tears and said softly, I'm so sad this happened. Everyone needs to learn there are strangers in the world who want to hurt little chicks. Promise me you will never, never again talk to strangers. The scared little chick looked up at Papa, Mama, and Clucky. Then with a shaky little voice and with tears in her eyes, she said, I will never, never again talk to strangers. Papa hugged her and whispered, I love you, Penny. And now, an award-winning song from Character Kids. Sneaking around and doing things you shouldn't do And if you're thinking that your parents haven't a clue Now there's a price you pay when you disobey Sometimes you learn a lesson or two And so today I've got to ask the 
Question. 